Oh my, it's beautiful. I'll let you hold on to it, though I won't say no to selling me any further copies. The information in there is certainly interesting, though. It almost looks like it's possible to... We, we can tame a dragon. Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome back to Sprout Now, twice weekly. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I have recently, actually as of this week, rearranged my entire schedule in relation to video releases. And we are now going to be releasing Sprout on Monday and on Friday. Uh, standard release time, so 12 noon Eastern time. Uh, that is not the only change uh, that you'll see here. The other change is there is no stuff here. I am no longer squatting at the monastery. These guys have been nice. They let me take all their potions <laughs> and a bit of their food. I actually, I did, I did leave them um, the chicken, the salt, and the bread. So actually, I think that's rice. Uh, but yeah, we have officially moved. And what I've decided I want to, where, where I've decided I want to live actually is, let me grab the warp stone out so I don't have to, actually we are going to run over there because I want to make one stop first. Um, I was originally thinking of living in here and making it just like a cool like hermit cave. Uh, but I have decided instead we are going to live at the greenhouse. Speaking of which, I want to take this crate. There we go. But yeah, we're going to live at the greenhouse and I thought it would be kind of cool. Uh, I want to bring it back to life on the inside, which will be very helpful to do. I'm making sure we're heading in the right direction. Yes, we are. And it'd just be kind of a fun task and I am going to live in the hill next to it. And I did already think of a cool way to get in. Uh, in and out of that area there and because there's a cool pile of rocks next door. We'll show that off in just a moment. I want to actually sell some stuff off. He wants 12, 24, 36 and boom. There we go. 60 silver pieces. But yeah, he'll be close by if we need to sell anything. But we have, oh, hello little glowy thing. This guy here. I don't remember if I've shown this in a video yet. I, I know I did find it off camera. And initially to get into it, I did dig down here and I did use it actually to gather up all the wheat that I was going to need. It looks cool. I like it. I want to keep it. Um, I don't know what the pepper vine does, but I want to kind of keep some of the vines in here. Uh, put string to stop them from growing. Eventually replace the broken farming device. Um, with a working farming device, obviously. And then this section here is actually going to be filled back in. Because my base is going to be down underground and I want to access it through a secret door right here. I don't have enough redstone wise to do it. So we are just going to kind of use the hole over there for now. This is going to be a long term project to start up. As you can see, I've got all of my stuff up here. Uh, I grabbed, you know, uh, a couple of bits from the mad science lab we found. Um, a couple of bits from the monastery. I took one of the apiaries because I'm sure they wouldn't have minded and all of the potions. So we'll be able to do that. These are going to be with me so that I can pick up a good amount of stuff along the way. And also off camera, I gathered more uh, mangoes, apples and pears so that we can live. We found a second gilded pickaxe. I'm pretty sure we did in the last episode and I crafted an engineer's manual because I want to have this base kind of self-sustained power wise and immersive engineering is honestly in my opinion the uh, first a good first start is my armor breaking oh, okay no it's not like what's up with I don't know there's something weird going on with this and this but I'm going to ignore it we'll uh, deal with that later what is oh this is just another storage crate okay boom different bra uh, different one but it still holds Eh, it holds a little bit less, but yeah, I'm not going to work on it today. I just wanted to tell you guys what the plan was. We are actually going to go out and do a little bit more adventuring to see if we can find anything going on. But before that happens, I want to set up one of these and I'm going to be putting in the solid survivalist strainer um, because I need clay. I need clay for a couple of things, uh, but mainly I need it for the Coke brick to make a Coke oven to get started on the immersive engineering stuff. 
So I have a bit of iron here. I did have a furnace set up going uh, over in the other area there and smelted up a bunch of iron. And I don't know where my crafting bench is. Hmm. Well, I'll just make another one. Whoop. That's not how it works. That's how it works. There we go. Boom. And again, as I said, this area here, everything you see outside is heavily temporary. Um, that's all good. Right, yeah. I need two chests. I need one of these. And that should be everything for that. And then I need to make this guy, which is even easier. And all I have to do now is put this in water, if I'm understanding correctly. Which we'll be able to run down here. I probably should have made a bucket and brought it upstairs. But we're just going to do this. And we're going to do that. Bait strainer. This strainer does not need any bait. Okay. Whoop. Oh, hold on. Suffocation. <laughs> Alright. We're going to leave this. I'll probably have to make more. As I said, I don't know anything about this mod. So if you guys know anything, let me know. Um, we should probably look into getting that so that we can check the efficiency. But for now, I think we're going to leave it. Um, as I said, the only reason I'm doing this is for the clay, which is a 25% drop. We'll probably get a boatload of sticks, but I don't really mind. Hey, look at that. First piece is clay. All right. It's got 720 total uses on that strainer. That's why I picked that one. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get myself set up to do some traveling. And we're going to see where we can go. I have some cooked food. We're going to carry that with us. I have a spare gilded pickaxe. And let me grab a spare axe. But yeah, once I grab all that stuff together, we should be set to go. Thinking before we do a little bit of exploration, let's head on over here and check out these two towers. We already know what's in there. There's a zombie spawner, but I don't remember what is in here. It looks like more zombie spawners, or spawners at least. So let's swing on in and see what we got. Iron Golem. That's a skeleton spawner. That's a baby zombie. I'm curious on how an Iron Golem got in there. Oh. Thought he was already dead. Alright, what did he have? He had a biker jacket. Oh, excuse me? And a potion bag. Oh, let's see what he had. Alright, let's actually step away. I don't want to uh, continue to be setting that off. We got a potion of regeneration and a bucket of milk. Let's see, plus three armor, 1.2. So his jacket's better than ours. Let's throw that on. Um, I need my food. I probably should have done this beforehand. I just didn't think about it. We'll throw these up. I'm going to swap out to my less damage tools real quick. Let's do that. We'll put that up and that up. I also probably should have brought torches, but I really don't have any torches. And I don't think we can pick up spawners. Uh, I don't remember what you'd call it. I think it's just a mover... Is the best way to describe it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, I used to. You could use. It's an old mod. I can't remember exactly what it was, but uh, you could move spawners using like chest movers or something like that. It was very useful. Very very useful. Looks like he's just wrecking mobs in here. All right, let's break this because we can do stuff with the pieces. Break that one. Ooh. Uh, let's grab the ender. I'm pretty sure. Oh, hold on. Can't remember if this one is actually better. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. 1.6 with a damage of 7. Um... Attack speed of three with a damage of four. I'll take this one. It's slower, but does more damage. All right, I don't want to accidentally hit him. Uh oh, they killed him. Now I got a lot of guys on fire coming after me. 
The upside is they're easier to kill than their miniature counterparts. All right. Let's let's back up a bit. Let's back up a bit. Oh, I also have a quest to kill zombies and skeletons, don't I? Then in the herd, yeah, we're up. I definitely killed more than three zombies, but it's whatever. All right, we got a golden apple. Um, this is good for. I didn't know there was Ender. I actually, yeah, I should have guessed it was Ender IO because we have broken bits here. Uh, ragged leather boot, split leather boot. Can I can I wear this? Nope. Okay. We have a damaged leather belt. I have no idea what this mod is. It seems like it just gives me leather scraps, which then can be used to make leather. Okay. Let's open another potion bag. I probably should just keep the potion bags unopened. We got a potion of royalty. No idea what that does. And some mob heads and some bones. All right, let's head back in. If we can destroy the spawners fast enough, I think we'll be set. Let's head back to the, ooh, that's not good. Actually, let's just use this. We'll probably end up farming some of these guys for a bit. Let's see if we can get a good amount of our zombies done. Woohoo, what did I get? Uh, the ender is level two. Oh yeah, I forgot this one levels up. All right, let's get this in so we can heal. And then I'm gonna head back down. We're gonna break that spawner and then we'll just kill whoever's left. There we go. It's got some great sunglasses there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh, I might actually die, guys. Run! Nope, okay. Let's get some regen on. hoping I can get to the last one. You actually get a good amount of stuff from killing mobs in this game. <laughs> Alright, let's um... Two blocks of iron. That is fantastic. A tool bag. Right, let's get rid of the poppies. I'm gonna eat these real quick. I think we actually got enough to level up. Let me double check that. Um... Yeah, we did. Alright. <laughs> let's see. We are gonna be traveling a bit, so I think that... Let's give us five defense, two melee, two here, and okay, that's it. I think that'll be good for now because we are traveling around. Um, probably athletics would have been better, but let's go with that for a start. And I want to sort some of my loot out. This is actually, pr I'm, I'm really happy with this. I'm really enjoying this, guys. If you can't tell, uh, what is that? Okay, Reliquary. I've never used that mod, but I do know of it. Let's put these away. I want to open the bag. So let's open the tool bag. And we got a framing saw for Bibliocraft. Probably not bad. As I said, I know there's stuff that I cannot get or I cannot craft that I can only find. So this is, I think, a good way to fix that issue. Um, it'll be nice because I should be able to rebuild these myself. Uh, the spawners, obviously, once we get a bit of power. Oh, there were multiple spawners in that stack. Oh, lag spike. Nope, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that lag spike was, but I just died. Well, I will take it. That was not a bad fight. Greenhouse, that thingy, death. 923 meters away. So what I'm going to do, guys, let me go over there. Uh, I'll probably stop off at the base. Grab. Uh, yeah, stop off at the base. Oh, I don't even have my bag. I thought my bag was soul bound. Maybe it's just this. Well, 
yeah, we're gonna head back to base. I'm gonna grab some torches. I'm gonna grab some gear. We're gonna head down there and we're gonna grab the rest of my stuff. So we're back. I've got my gear back and I noticed a message saying that I could hold this sword in my hand and click L. And I did that and then this the little wheel pops up and if you go to the bottom right corner, you get the ability to add thingies and I have two ability tokens because we are currently at level three. Uh, sets enemies on fire for a short time, stuns enemies, freezing them in place for a short time, poisons enemies for a short time, causes enemies to become withered, uh, weakens and blinds enemies, or heals the user with a portion of damage dealt. That's going to be fantastic right now. I am taking that. Um, I know I just spent both of my bits, but uh, I think that's a fantastic way to do it. Uh, and then also, I think it's saying I have skill points to use. So, let's go athletics to 10 and melee to 10. Yeah. And there we go. So, I did grab torches. I'm actually down to one torch. Um, here, we're going to... Another ender. Some horse armor. That's going to be some decent money. I don't mind that. Oh, hello. gonna heal me almost every time which is fantastic uh, I am just gonna break all the spawners I know it's probably not smart but I'm just gonna do it I think it's gonna help me out enough where I don't have to worry too much about it let's see there we go a mana steel ingot what was this top one um, oh some more mana steel so Batania is very useful um, I've never really gotten it early game on anything I usually end up just playing with it later but it is very useful. Oh, excuse me, sirs. Right, this is actually beneficial to just continuously use the same sword, like the same weapon for a good amount of time. Especially if you can just level it up like this. Uh, yeah, we need to, we need to empty up some stuff. Let's, uh, swing upstairs. It's actually a lot more stuff in this tower than I thought. I thought it'd only be like three or four layers. I don't know how deep it goes. It's just what to say. I think it's also night out, but it's not. Oh, this glass is wicked useful. It's, it's pretty much dark glass as far as I can remember. So we can use it to block out light so that uh, actually we're gonna yeah we'll drop that in there I don't mind oh I, I, I do still have some stuff so let's grab this I doubt I can use the tiny coal can I yeah there we go we'll make little tiny little tiny doodads uh, you guys can go in there you can go in there let's add that to our our slot and we'll make we'll use the little baby torches they don't produce as much light, but I really don't need them to produce a ton of light. I just need them to stop spawning in short spaces. But what is that thing? Sorry, I got distracted by whatever that floaty thing was. We're going to end up dying a lot today, guys. I should probably make armor. I don't know if I can. Okay, we're back. You cannot craft armor. You need those... um. That armor blank we had earlier, you need one of those things. Alright, I know this is probably dumb, but we're gonna pop this thing. We're gonna head down. We're gonna break this spawner. Of course, he's enchanted and armored and enchanted. Wow. Alright. There's my head. Now, what do you suppose that thing is? Well, there's only really, there's really only one way to find out. Oh, uh, more mobs. I, I think this might be a roguelike dungeon, just a different one. I'm not saying we're not going to tackle it anymore today, but I think we've spent enough time in this one. There is the tower next door that I want to check out, so let's check that one out. I did already pop in the bottom earlier. Um, I just needed like a little place to hide. So I popped in earlier and destroyed the uh, spawner that was on the floor. 
the, the, the lower spawner. Something moving up there. <laughs> but yeah, that's, uh, that's the message I was talking about, guys. It was a big old blop. So. Okay, yeah, it was just a zombie. Alright, let's dump off some of our stuff. Or, not our stuff, but, yeah. Some of the stuff we picked up, because we really don't need it. A heart jar. I thought I knew what it was, but I don't know. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. Okay. Woo! More stuff. Alright. Let's pop some steak. And check out the other tower. This one shouldn't be as hard. Let's see, did we get any... Oop, another lag... Why am I getting lag spikes today? Nope, nothing yet. We are at 161 of 260 to get to the next level. Alright, so yeah, there was a spawner there we destroyed. There's nothing on this level. And there's a spawner right there. Let's see. Oh, iron armor grab bag. Nice. Uh, I've never played with Quark. I, don't, I think this is the first mod pack I've ever used that had Quark in it. Let's see what we got. <gasps> iron boots. Woo woo. We got boots. <laughs> I know it's stupid, but we've got boots. Uh, I have a feeling our uh, other armor got destroyed. The uh, leather biker jacket we were wearing. <laughs> Not much durability in that. Also, we didn't do much exploration today. I'm kind of bummed. I thought we'd be able to get a bit more in today. Well, let's see. Now we have one and a half armors. Uh, let's dump off some stuff. Oop, I need that. Don't dump that in there, please. Yeah, 11.2 DPS. All right. Um, I don't mind this being a little longer, so let me do some more exploration, and I will show you guys if we find anything cool. Running along the beach here, guys, trying to avoid the dragon's nest that is up there, I found a random birch trapdoor. Looks like I f Yo. Weird, because when you look at it, it says 64, unless that shows stack size. I want this. Can I take it? I can. I have a little ship to put up now, guys. Look at it. I'm going to have the start of my collection. <laughs> All right, uh, bigger boom. I don't know what that is. Well, I know what a bigger boom is. I just don't know what it is in context to this. Uh, I don't actually care about the maps. Anything underneath? Empty. Well, that is fine. Oh! <laughs> what are the chances? We also got some fish pie. All right, let's get rid of some garbage from my inventory here. We're going to put it in... Uh, actually, we'll put it in... Ooh, bunch of jams. Yeah, we'll put it in here. All right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, a map. That's actually pretty nice. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that because I can't do anything with it till I'm a do. Uh, it, unless it, I can't do anything with those unless I'm a cyborg, as far as I understand. We can also get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that because I can always make more. All right, food. Food and items. So yeah, I guess you can find little pirate treasure holds out here. I'm going to put the pair of these in here so they don't get lost. Um, jam guy. We got a lot of stuff. I honestly did not think we'd be finding this much stuff exploring today. You really don't. I have found a fun little village. I really like the building designs. They even have a cool little, uh... A pond out here with some some daisies and actually I don't have sugar cane I don't think I'll probably need it for something at the little base but yeah they've got kind of little unique houses here and I really like them do they have any stuff not really <laughs> but they do have little crossovers like this which is cool actually I'm gonna steal this bed I don't think there's anybody living here did not steal that bed because my inventory is full. Yeah, my inventory is a bit on the cluttered side, guys. There's not much I can do about it at the moment, but we will probably be heading back home anytime now. 
Another one. Nope. You gotta look up in these because the first one I went into, they have a, a chest up, which was pretty uh, unique. These are just standard, yeah, standard houses or standard buildings for Minecraft, I should say. I did see one. Yeah, I want to check that one out over there. Mainly because it looks like it has a working windmill, and I don't know if that is the immersive engineering windmill. Uh, if so, I'm going to take it. Not really, no, though I'm always looking to buy more cloth. Okay. Do you have anything that I want? A rune bag? I don't have anything towards that. Mm, I do have that quest from these guys, so we're going to have to look into that. Uh, and we're going to have to look into those as well. That should be fun though. I don't mind. There's going to be a lot to play around with and we're still in the kind of exploration stage. So I don't really mind doing what we're currently doing. Hello fellas. We got a machinist and a butcher. Whoop. <laughs> Nothing like falling out your front door. Okay, these guys never seem to have anything. Not that I really worry about it. Hey guys, the door's over here. <laughs> Alright, blacksmith, that shop over there, Ooh. there we go bud, now you can get out, be free, I'm gonna steal all your stuff anyway, what do we got, alright, um, I did find some clay which was nice, let's get rid of that, get rid of that, this is a treasure map by the way, I did take a look at it a little bit ago, dump that, dump that, um, these are nice, they say gain experience but you get 30 seconds of slowness, Just gives me stuff right away. I want this. I want that. I want that, 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 and that. All right. You can keep. Yeah, you can keep the rest. Because we're going to need space to check out other stuff. That's a guard tower. We don't have to worry about that. Uh-oh. I don't know how I just did that. What is this place? Uh. Again, I have no idea what these are. A heart of gold. What does a heart of gold do? You know what? I can probably test that at some point, just not right now. Alright. Oh, this is the dude's house. Okay, somebody... Uh, there was a comment on the last video that said to take something from here. And I can't remember what it was. But I am going to take this. And these are just regular crates. Again, still nice to have, but I really don't have the space for it. Actually, I do. All right, we're just going to take these ones. I'm going to take a double look around because I'm drawing a blank on who said it, but somebody had said to take something from this room last time. I think it was the manuscript, but I don't remember. Actually, now that I think about it, I think it was. Uh, shop. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, so yeah, you need, uh, blueprints. But farming components, enchanter, drill core, grappling hook, and pure daisy. Alright, well, that'll be fine. We're not going to worry about that. That looked like a trap door for a second. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't. But, uh, yeah, last... Ooh, there's a lot of buildings here. So I'm going to actually finish running through town here, guys. This one's a lot bigger than I initially thought it was going to be. This place is massive. So, yeah, let me uh, finish exploring, and I'll show you guys what we finish up with. This place looks awesome, guys. This is actually a very well done little library. We got... What do we got up here? Bibliocraft fancy lamps, which look cool. Bookshelves that are kind of emptied. Tables, desks, a lectern. And a guy to talk to. This is Librarian. And he got a big old bushy beard. Hello there. Come to take a look at some books? Need help with anything? I wouldn't normally ask such of a stranger, but someone showed me an old manuscript recently and I'd like to get my hands on a few more if at all possible. Uh, interested? Yes, I am. 
You will? Brilliant. I don't have much more information to go on, unfortunately. But I think there was mention made of those scourges we call dragons. So maybe there's uh, somewhere for you to start. Word. Uh, this guy also seems to have a store. What's he selling me? Books. Mining fatigue. Slowness. Hunger. I don't know why I'd want half of these. Weakness. Poison. Arcane spell book. Yo, I definitely don't have I don't have any gold. Oh, are these Oh, these are like spells. Oh. Oh, I am happy now. What is this? A bestiary. I have the stuff, but I don't want to buy it right now. Alright, we definitely have to find we have to come back here. The only problem is I have not found the um the stone for this area yet. I have found a building I missed, guys. I knew there had to be a bank somewhere. And not only that, it converts. Uh, one iron is 64 bronze, one gold is 64 silver, 64 gold is one diamond, 64 diamonds is one emerald. I'm not going to convert up now, but this is this is honestly the most useful village I've found. I still haven't found the little manuscript guy yet. He's got to be somewhere around here. I know he is. Because he's got a little place. He's got a little secret basement. And he's hiding down there. I just can't find it to save my life right now. Oh, I think I just found it. <laughs> Is this it? Yes, it is. This guy should have a manuscript down here. Uh, lectern. He's got... Hold on, let me... Da, 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 da. I also have gotten a couple of mundane bags, but we're not going to worry about those at the moment. We are here for manuscripts. All right. Manuscript. And I could have sworn there was more. Oh, I should have taken that last time too. Oh, no, you can keep your book, dude. I don't need it that bad. I don't think that's enough. I think you need four to make a manuscript. Nope, you only need three. That's a Ah, uh, that might have been a mistake. Yes, it was. Because the guy said manuscript, not bestiary. Right? Should have checked my stuff. Yeah. Oh, come on. Double check your quest, guys. <laughs> okay, guys, we went back, did our stuff, got it charged up. Teleported back, and now, oh, that's exactly them. Now let's have a look at these. Completed our quest, and we got a book of gain 10 levels. That's awesome. Can I do this quest again? Uh, hello again, just the person I'm hoping to chat to. You wanted to talk to me? Yes, I did indeed. I've been looking over those manuscripts, and it seems they actually fit together. I've managed to reconstruct the binding of the larger tome with the three you gave me, but there's blatantly pages missing. At any rate, here's the bestiary. You can use this ear lectern to add further pages to it. No sweat. I'd love to see this thing restored to its former glory. Word. So I have a bestiary introduction. Okay, okay. A small tattered note clings to the binding of the bestiary. It reads, This manuscript is meant to be a guide to those who like to inform themselves about the greatest wonders in the supernatural realm. It will cover some of the basics of designing tools, armor, and weapons to tracking, hunting, and learning about mysterious creatures. The bestiary then goes on to describe supernatural changes in the generation of the world, starting with strange ores. An ore with mystical properties, silver ore, can be found at the same layers gold can be found. 
It can be smelted into ingots, which have a variety of uses. Uh, shovel, pickaxe, blah, 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 blah. You guys know all the stuff. Silver weaponry does extra damage to undead due to its magical properties. A second magical ore associated with supernatural creatures is the sapphire ore. Sapphire ore is found randomly in snowy biomes and its drop can be traded with snow villages. Uh, villagers, sorry. Um, nuggets of either gold or silver can be stored into placeable piles like so. Okay, so pretty much pressure plate. Uh, the only way to obtain more information about the magical world is to research other writers' works. This can be done by crafting a lectern. Uh, once a lectern has been placed, it can be interacted with by clicking on it. Uh, the inside will have three slots, the leftmost for bestiary, the bottom for manuscripts, and the leftmost for output bestiaries. Leftmost, okay, okay, that, the, whatever. Uh, for every three manuscripts, a new page will appear in the index of the bestiary. Those new pages can range from information about mythical creatures, different types of peoples, informative crafting guides, and even basic alchemy. Okay, well, we have a goal now in relation to the manuscripts, which is pretty cool. I did also pick up another quest. Oh, I already have the bestiary knowledge. Oh my, it's beautiful. I'll let you hold on to it, though I won't say no to selling me any further copies. The information in there is certainly interesting, though. It almost looks like it's possible to... We, we can tame a dragon. Dude, you just blew my mind. Now I have two... I can gain 20 levels. Alright, so what's this guy got? So, Book of Unlearning. This book will also reset my class. Ooh. Huh. That seems kind of cool. Um, Ender book. I have no idea what it does. Mine colonies resurrection. I think I need a mine colon. I need to figure out what we're going to do with the mine colony stuff. Um, and then he will buy bestiaries off of me for 16 silver. Not bad. Not bad. But we are definitely going to have to look into this magic stuff. I definitely want to play with this grimoire of Gaia 3 mod because it looks like a boatload of fun. But I think that's where we're going to be calling it here today, guys. Oh, look, a fossil. I don't know how I missed that before. But yeah, sorry. We're going <laughs> we're gonna to be calling it here. This was a very fun adventure. We did die a few times uh, off over there, but we did conquer all the way down to its lower level. Uh, once we do get uh, ooh, higher tier armor, we will definitely be traveling back to there right now uh all we got out of that mundane pack by the way was a flint helmet and a flint chest plate which is kind of a bummer they can be leveled up though in the same way that the sword can if i'm reading this correctly yeah so we'll play around with that another time uh but yeah if you have any ideas let me know in the comments down below if i ask any questions and you know the answers to them same thing drop them in the comments it would be very, very much appreciated. But I hope you all did enjoy, and I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is Buddy Fence. I hope to see you again soon. Peace. It's actually a really good screenshot right there, so I'm going to keep that. But bye-bye.